Hello, welcome to Prakash Academy. Today our topic is Arithmetic Progression AP. This is from class 10th CBSE. Now what is AP? Simple way to describe AP is AP is a sequence or series of a numbers. Like some numbers we have and the difference between every consecutive number. What is consecutive number means like a number and the next number. So if I find the difference 10 and 14, this is plus 4. Again, I find the difference. This is also plus 4. Again, the difference is plus 4 and the difference is plus 4. So the AP is a sequence or series of a number in which the difference between every consecutive number is equal. This is AP. Now, the first term, this is the first one we denote at or as A. The first term is A and the common difference, the common difference of the AP we denote by D. So we got our first term denoted by A and the common difference by D. Suppose this is A1, A1 or you can also say T1, term 1 or AP1. So A1 is equal to what? This is A, that is simply A. So A I can write it as A plus and first term, it means 1 minus 1 into D. Now a plus 1 minus 1 equals 0, 0 into d equal 0. It means a plus 0. So what we got? We got simply equal to a. If anyone will ask you a2, a2 is equal to I can do a plus and second term then 2 minus 1 into d. Again a3 equal a plus 3 minus 1 into d. Suppose we have to find nth term. n can be anything. Suppose we are going to ask you find 25th term of the AP. Find a 51 term of the AP. So n can be any number. So what we are going to do using the same method a plus nth term. So a minus 1 into d. So we got a formula and the formula is a n equal a plus n minus 1 into d. This is the formula to find the nth term of any AP. So to find the nth term of the AP, a n equal a plus n minus 1 into d. What it means like some AP we have 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 0, 35 and so on. What is the first term? That is A. A equal to what? That is 10. Common difference. So, this is 5, this also 5, this also 5, this also 5. So, it means common difference equal to 5. Now, suppose I have to find the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Sixth term. It means A6. So A6 using the formula A plus n minus 1 into D. So A equal 10 plus n means which term we have to find? Sixth term. Then 6 minus 1 and D that is common difference that is 5. So I got 10 plus 6 minus 1 that is 5 and 5 into 5 25. So A6 or 6th term I got 35 or one more thing we can do. If we have to find the 6th term then what is the formula? A plus n minus 1 into d. So n is 6 and 6 minus 1 equal 5. So 6th means I can subtract 1. 6 minus 1 5 directly I can write it as a plus 5d because 6 minus 1 5 into d. So the same way suppose if we have to find a 10. So 10 minus 1 9. 
so directly i can do a plus 90 in case if we have to find the 15th term so we can use a plus 15 minus 1 that is 14 so a plus 14 d now we are going to do some questions using that formula so find the 20th term of the ap 9 13 17 21 25 and so on first term that is a equal 9 and the common difference if you find that will be 4 4 in every difference each and every time the difference will be 4 so now i can use that formula and i have to find the 20th term so i told you a20 or you can write it as t20 equal to what directly a plus 20th term then n minus 1 it means 20 minus 1 19 so a plus 19 d so it will be a is 9 plus 19 into difference equal 4 so i got 9 plus 19 into 4 that is 76 76 plus 9 i got 85 it means a20 or the term 20 of this ap is 85 now the next question is which term of the ap 38 13 18 is 88 it means the first term a equal 3 and the common difference if you find 3 plus 8 that is plus 5 8 sorry 3 and 8 that is the difference is plus 5 8 and 13 the difference is plus 5 again this difference is also plus 5 so common difference is equal 5 and the nth term or you can see t n or a n is equal how much 88 so we have to find on the place of n what will come which term is this so we can use that formula a n equal a plus n minus 1 into d now a n that already we got that is 88 now a is 3 plus n minus 1 so n minus 1 and common difference that is 5 so we got 88 equal 3 plus 5 into n 5 n 5 into minus 5 that is minus 5 so i got 88 equal 3 minus 5 minus 2 plus 5 n so 88 minus 2 will come this side plus 2 equal 5 n 88 plus 2 90 equal 5 n so n equal 90 divided by 5 we got 18 it means 18th term of this ap is 88 our next question is if 7th term of an ap is minus 4 and its 13th term is minus 16 find the ap it means we have to find the sequence or series of the ap so seventh term so i told you seventh term means a plus 7 minus 1 6 it means 6d using this formula a7 equal a plus 7 minus 1 into d it means a plus 6d so i can write a plus 6d equal minus 4 and 13th term then same way a plus 12d equal minus 16 i can write it as 1 2 now 1 minus 2 equation 1 minus equation 2 because we have to cancel either a or d so we can find the value so minus minus that will be plus it got cancelled minus 12 plus 6 i got minus 6d equal 16 minus 4 i got 12 so d equal 12 divided by minus 6 
I got minus 2. Now, this minus 2, what I can do? Either you can keep the value of d in equation 1 or in equation 2, you will get the same answer. So, a plus 6d equal minus 4. I am taking equation 1. So, a plus 6 into d equal minus 2 equal minus 4. Then a plus minus 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 12 equal minus 4. Then a equal minus 4 plus 12. a equal 8. Now we got a, we got d. So, now what is the term of the ap? So, a equal to 8. Now, second term is a plus d, then a plus 2d and so on, so on, so on. So, a that is 8. So, I will write it as 8. Now, 8 plus and minus 2, then 8 plus 2 into minus 2 and so on. So, I got 8, 8 minus 2 that is 6. Then again, a that will be 8 and 2 into minus 2 that is minus 4. So, 8 minus 4, I got 4. So, it means again it will be 8, 6, 4 and the difference is minus 2, it will be 2, 0, minus 2, minus 4, so on. Now, AP is given 5, 10, 15, 20 and so on. First term A is 5 and the last term that is 50. Common difference, if you find the common difference 5 and 10, so it means plus 5, plus 5. First term that we know, we write it as A and the second term is A plus D, 5 plus 5, 10 and the term, third term is A plus 2D and so on. If I am coming from the right hand side, last term is L and second last is L minus D, 50 minus the common difference that is 5 is 45. Again L minus 2D, L minus 3D. What is the need of all this thing? Suppose I am going to add all the terms of the AP. So if I am going to add all the terms of the AP, so starting from that one, A plus a plus d plus a plus 2d plus so on so on so on and again l minus 2d plus l minus d plus l. Now we know that a plus b equal b plus a. It means if I am adding all the terms from the left hand side or if I am adding all the terms from the right hand side, I will get the same answer. Now, I am adding from right hand side. So, L plus L minus D. L plus L minus D plus L minus 2D plus again A plus 2D plus A plus D plus A. Now, why I did all this thing? Now, SN and SN. It means 2 times Sn. If I am going to simplify. So, A plus L. This is A plus L. Add this and this. Now, minus D plus D cancel. Again, I will get A plus L. Plus 2D minus 2D cancel. I will get again A plus L. Come this side. Cancel. Again, this also got cancel. L plus A or A plus L. The same thing. So, A plus L plus a plus l and again a plus l. So, it means 2 s n and a plus l will come how many times? n times. So, it means n into a plus l. Then sum of all the digits or all the terms of the a p s n equal n into a plus l by 2. Again, I can simplify. We got one formula. It means sum of all the term of the AP equal n into the first term plus last term divided by 2. But if we do not have the last term, in case if we have only the first term, then I can simplify again SN equal n into 
a plus and the last term we did in the starting nth term is equal a plus n minus 1 into d and divide by 2. So, s n what we got n into a plus a 2 a plus n minus 1 into d by 2. So, we have two formula. If the first and the last term is given then we can use that one to find all the sum of all the terms of the AP. Otherwise, we can use this formula to find the sum of all the terms of the AP. So, we will do some questions based on this formula. Now, our question is find the sum of first 24 terms of the AP 5, 8, 11, 14, 17 and so on. So, in this one the first term a equal 5 and the common difference that is 5 and 8. So, it means that is simply plus 3 or we can say 3. Now, 24 term it means s24. So, s24 equal n by 2. So, how many terms? 24. Then 24 by 2. 2a so 2 into 5 plus n minus 1 it means 24 minus 1 and the common difference is 3 so i got 24 by 2 that is 12 2 5s are 10 24 minus 123 into 3 69 so i got 12 into 10 plus 69 that is 79 so it means S24 is 12 into 79. So, we will do 79 into 12. 9 twos are 18, 1, 7 to 14 plus 1, 15, 1 into 9, 9, 1 into 7, 7, 8, 9 plus 5, 14, 1 carry, 1 plus 1, 2, 7 plus 2, 9. It means we got 948. It means the sum of first 24 terms of this AP is 948. So, this is the basics of AP. If you like the video, then you just subscribe the channel and we can share the video with your friends. And in the next part, we will try to add some more questions from AP. And if any doubt you have, you can ask your doubt in the comment section. Thanks for watching.